Hey guys, it's Chris Tan, your Bitcoin newbie. And on this video, I'm gonna answer the question of whether you should trade or you should hold when it comes to cryptocurrency. Now, I get this question a lot. If uh, you should trade when you're investing or should you hold on to your investments? And there is no right or wrong answer for this one, and it depends on several factors. So let's go through each point and find out if you should trade or if you should hold your investments. The first thing you gotta ask yourself is, what is your objective? Is your objective to grow your assets or is your objective to earn an income? So the difference is, if you're trying to earn an income, then you should trade. If you're trying to grow your assets, then you should hold. Another way of looking at it is to ask yourself, do you need money right now? Money for your expenses or money for you to spend? Then that means you need an income. And if that's the case, then you should trade. But if you don't need the money right now and you want to grow your asset base and your net worth, then you should hold. Another point you should look at is what do you have more of? Is it time or is it money? If you have more money but not enough time, then you should hold your investments and just make it grow. But if you have more time and less money, then you should trade. And the last point you gotta consider is this. When you're holding, your money is working for you. When you're trading, you work for your money. And that's a clear distinction between trading and holding. In this case, it's called hodling. So let's recap those three points that I brought up. Number one, what's your objective? Is it to grow your asset or is it to have an income? And that's dependent on whether you have more time or more money. And consider the fact that when you trade, you do work for your money versus when you hold, you let your money work for you. And each one's gonna have a different answer, so you have to be very honest with yourself with those questions. And at the end of the day, whichever answer you're comfortable with is the one you should go with. So try to answer those questions and find out if you should trade or you should hodl. So we can take this train of thought a step further. I have friends that actually trade with the goal of building their asset base. So what they do is they have more time than they do money. And what they do with that is they use their time to be able to trade so that they have an income for their expenses and for things that they want to spend on. And they actually allocate a portion of the money they earn on their income from trading and they put it on their investment side so that they'll hold it for the long term. So they put about 10 to 20% of whatever they earn and hold it for the long term. The 80% is part of their expenditures and is part of their income. Now, what do I do? For me, 80% of my portfolio is for the long term hold. And I have another 20% that I play with for fun that I generate some income from. So just mix it up, try it out and see what works for you. And I hope this video helps you in deciding whether you should trade or you should hodl. This is Chris Tan, your Bitcoin newbie. I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll help the algorithm so you'll get more content like this on your feed. Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. And also please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon. We'll